Hi everybody, it's PJs and finally it's March favorites. So I've got so many to do that we're going to try and do this really fast, okay? And I'm sorry if it, if I don't take the time necessary to um, give everything life the way I want to, but there's a lot because it was my birthday and shit happens. The first thing I want to show you is my bag, uh, and this is um, Betsy Johnson, my new Betsy Johnson bag, because she's my favorite, and I love this for spring. I think it's absolutely adorable, and it has the real long, because that's how I wear bags, like this, like I love a shoulder bag. And I have a um, Michael Kors backpack that I use for like all my business stuff, but this is like actually my purse. So I love it. I think it's so beautiful and springy. This color is like growing on me so much. I might have to do something with it. I don't know yet, but this makes me excited. So there you go. Okay, so that's my new purse. Um, let's go to scents. Okay, I if you would watch, I did a haul at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And what I got most out of there were candles. And this is their Easter candle. And um, it smells like, and you can tell I've been burning, but it smells like birthday cake and marshmallows and like burnt sugar. It is so yummy. And what I love the most about it is the little tin lid with the little Peter Cotton tail on it. And if you hear my dogs like mingling around, it's because I'm watching my ex-husband's dog too. So I have four, 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 four dogs, not three today. And they constantly want my attention and are driving me crazy. Okay, so since this was the first one, and that was the these are all from Bed Bath and Beyond that I'm gonna about to show you. There's only three I'm gonna sh no two I'm gonna show you from Bed Bath and Beyond. This Easter candle is life. It smells like I am the best pastry chef ever, and we all know cooking is not my style. Actually, when I first met my boyfriend, Jeff, it was like five in the morning. Our kids were little. So he was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I got to go. And he's like, yeah, yeah, because I wouldn't, you know, want my kids to wake up and um, see you flipping pancakes. And I was like, uh, yeah, you put me in the wrong room, buddy, because I wouldn't be flipping pancakes. Anyway, um, so I know I I mean I cook because I have to not because I really like to and that makes my house smell like I am chef a bullet okay now this one is called mahogany antique wood and to, this is my favorite mahogany antique wood bed bath and beyond and let me tell you why because it smells like a date like a really good date like, if some dude walked in here and smelled like this, like, I'd be all up in that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my children are watching. Amazing. It smells like a man who has enough money to buy a fabulous cologne. It smells like a date. Anyway, okay. So, the third candle that I'm going to um, put on my March favorites really doesn't have anything to do with Bed Bath & Beyond. This came from New Orleans. <laughs> Okay, Okay. this next candle uh, came from New Orleans, and I had told you that over the blood moon, if you watch my blood moon spell, I had done some spells to gain people watching my videos. I wish I would have changed it to subscribers, regardless, that was my fault, but I did my spells all to Legba, Papa Legba, and this is the Papa Legba candle from New Orleans. And this is a voodoo candle. And I sacrificed certain things to Legba. And I'm ongoing. There's still a little bit left to play with. And ongoingly, I am uh, talking to Papa Legba and asking him to help me because I really want a lot of subscribers so that I can do this more and do this correctly. And, like, I, I just 
love it so much. I love all you guys that watch. It is amazing to me that that many people want to hear what the hell I have to say. But because they do, I asked Papa Legba to help me in that endeavor. And I love him. And thank you, Papa Legba. Thank you, Papa Legba, for all your help in bringing about more people to watch my channel. I put a video up the day I started the Papa Legba. The next day I put a video up of um, of an Easter. I was supposed to do my March favorites, but I was tired. So I did an Easter tutorial, Easter inspired makeup tutorial. And in one day, I know it's not big to anybody else, but I had more views than I had on any other video in one day. And I contribute that to the wonderful spell I did for Papa Legba and thanking him so much for listening to me because he listens to our stories and then he grants us some wishes and he helps us through everything and thank you Papa Legba. And I'll see I'm just running off of the mouth and I can't do that. Okay let's go to hair because this hair has been a little challenging to me. I don't know how to use a flat iron. I have tried to use a flat iron, and it doesn't do what it did with the lady in the hairdresser. And I have a girl that said she's going to bring hers in and teach me, because I went out and got one, but it sucked. And, yeah, so it's kind of been eau de natural. I guess that, you know, it's just like me to not, like, to not. So, okay, anyway... One thing I didn't like about this style when, after I had it for a while was this side of my head would be like flat and this side would be full because of my part. But I never really had that before. So I was a little upset. I don't know if it's the way it's cut or whatever. So I went out and I got the Pantene Mousse. It's a number four hold and it's a root lifter, the root lifting mousse. And literally, you can't tell. Like, I get the, sh the lift from the root now. So, really liking this stuff. Like, happy, happy I found this. I had gotten one other one that was actually way more expensive than this. It didn't do anything. But this one really works. So, happy, happy days. Okay, let's continue on to scents. So, when I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I also had gotten one of their mists. And this is um, Sea Island Cotton. And it is just so clean. Like, that's what I... And it lasts forever. Like, I've been using it for a month, and that's all I've used. And I love stuff like this. Like, I'll use this forever. And, um, yeah, that's all I used of it. So, really happy about that purchase. It's lasting forever. I also almost would be brave enough to do the... The... Um, Mahogany Antique. What I love the smell of this. You don't know. I have to go get another one. I've already burned it all the way down almost. And um, the only thing is, is it's very masculine. So let's go on to makeup. The face. The ready face. Okay. So I wanted to try some BB creams um, recently because sometimes I feel like I like on a Sunday. I just want to throw some kind of cream on my face that has something in it that kind of hides the redness. As you know, that's my, if you watch, that's my problem is ruddiness other than the wrinkles and the fact that my chin is falling on my lap. Yeah, but that's my problem. So I went, um, I actually went out and got the L'Oreal BB cream. It's called uh, Magic Skin Beautifier by L'Oreal. This actually has the green tint in it that um, cuts the red in your face. And it does, slightly. Um, it's not pigmented enough for me, uh, maybe for somebody who doesn't have my same problems. But for me, it, um, it showed through. It absorbs really well, um, but within an hour, my redness was starting to show through, which, of course, we all know I fight the red all the time. So the green didn't seem to do much. And I actually had a primer that had the green to cancel out the red. And that didn't do anything either. Um, and just so you remember what... Oh, did I bring it out? No. 
Oh no, here it is. I'm sorry. Here's the um this was actually from Clinique and it's called Redness Solution. And I I just don't see it working. It doesn't do anything. But I found this, actually my girlfriend got me this for my birthday in a bag of a bunch of stuff. And this is called Even Tone BB Cream. And it's actually from the Cocoa Butter formula. The Cocoa Butter people, like, that do all the Cocoa Butter stuff, you know what I mean? And it's a tinted BB cream, and I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. Because it's really, it's a cream, you can feel the cream in it, but it's very pigmented. And that pigment, if you can see, uh, can you see it? Maybe not. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Shoot, let me try it here. Okay, watch. See, there it is. It's very pigmented, see? Like you, and you can layer it. Like you can build, it's very buildable. So you can build it up, build it up. So I put like three light, I don't ever put anything super heavy, but three light coats on and it really did the job. So if you're just running around this summer, it's hot, you're sweaty, you know what I mean? Throw this in your bag, and if you don't feel like wearing, like, full makeup, you can just throw this on, and it's, you know, the Cocoa Butter Formula, um, Even Tone BB Cream, and this one is in fair light. It, ha it only has a 15 SPF, so I'm still going to need my Neutrogena day cream because that's like SPF 50 or something but um yeah but this actually worked compared to the way more expensive ones that just didn't okay sticking with skin I have been using the Paracomb MD neck lifting therapy and I really believe that it's starting to work a little like, not a ton, but a little. I was supposed to go get my needles. I show up there. It's a bait and switch. You show up. I say, okay, I'm here for my Juvederm. They say, oh, you don't need that. You need these lights to sit under for six weeks. 500 bucks a session. And you might see a difference in six weeks. I'm like, no, because... The needles, I'll walk out and see a difference in there. Like, oh, I'd never do that. What do you want to do? Have duck lips? Oh, my God. I was so mad. I'm going to probably do a rant because I really don't want anybody else to get caught up in that or pay those prices. My God, unbelievable what they were trying to get me to do. And then after I did that, I would have to go to skin toning, which would suck it all back. And then this and then that. And I was like, I just want Juvederm. I just want Juvedex or whatever. Like, fill this. Fill these little guys in here. Like, that's all I want until I can get the whole shabangy and look beautiful again. That's what I want. So, not happening. Guy was the biggest dick. Um, absolutely, if he touched my face one more time, I think I might have actually hit somebody for the first time in my life. But he didn't, and I didn't, and I walked out that much smarter thank you to my sister for warning me that that's what some of these places are they're bait and switch they bait you in oh yeah we'll do what you want we'll do what you want and then they won't they j he refused he w do it what he was saying which was some ridiculous light bulb or forget it you know and it was just really i was like ready to cry because i was so i got myself so worked up i've never had anything done to my face needle wise or anything else so i was so worked up like ready for it and at the same time a little bit scared that by the time he pulled this shit i was ready to cry ready to cry i took tim with me and like he went back there and was listening they were trying to get him to do it and i text my sister what should i do she's like go steal his wallet because it would have been thousands and that it would have been enough for a fucking facelift by the time they were done giving me lights that i might see in six weeks ridiculous really not happy anyway off with the rant on with this this paracomb stuff really works i'm only using the neck lift and i'll tell you what i got the eye lift too which really really works and guess what 
gives me a headache. So I don't know, like every time I use it, I get like right in here, my eyes hurt. And I've been trying to use just a little bit and then wipe it off basically, just like let it absorb from it. But literally it does something to my eyeballs. Maybe I'm allergic because I have funny skin, but I was hopeful because it really works. It really got the creases out of my eyes. Crazy as that sounds, it really works. Okay, hair check. Oh, this hair. Anyway, on to makeup. Okay, so I have been living for this color lip. Ah, there you go. Do you see it? It's like a purplish pink and I'm gonna go buy more because I only have two, really. Oh, I have one like this and one that's more pink. And this is from Jordana and it is called Lilac Berry. And I'm loving this color. I hope it comes through. Don't look at my nails, I need a manicure. I hope the color comes through because it's like a purpley lip. And I've been using the lip liner. I've been using the lip liner. <laughs> What's it called? Okay, and I've also been using Jordana lip liner in Babyberry, and this is like kind of the match to this, but it's actually a little deeper. But um, as my lip liner, and then the Jordana purple. I mean, fabulous, loving the lip. The next, the next lipstick, who is this by? Anyway, the next lipstick is from Maybelline. It is called Orchid Ecstasy. And again, it's this kind of pink purpley color. I'm, I'm just dying for it. I can't, I can't help it. And this actually looks dark, but this one is lighter than that on so if you wanted something this dark it's it's closer to the color that's on the bottom which is that it is just i am into this color for the spring it's on my bag it's like this color the is that called chartreuse i don't know i'd have to look it up but anyway that is my lips that is my face now i got it this is everything. This is Kat Von D Shade Delight Contouring Palette. I have had, uh, hold on. I have had so much fun with this. I have used every single color depending on um, what I'm wearing in the way of a cool look or a warm look. It, um, I love, I wish I could show you the mirror because the shape on the edge of the mirror is so cute. I love her stuff. Her stuff tends to have the most pigment in anything that I've used prior. Um, yes, I'm not using my Milani face powder as my contour. I'm actually using her today. I live for this. I love this. I love it. Fabulous stuff. Um, it lasts forever. Like I can go home and I still have my contour on, even if like my eyeballs and I, my face eats makeup a lot, but actually I'll give you the next thing as well. Cause I bought two things. This I got for my birthday with the Sephora, my, the Sephora gift card my son gave me. Okay. Sorry, my nose is just with the Sephora money my son gave me. So I got this shade delight. And I got the Laura Mercier, oh my God. This is the, um, the translucent powder. Oh my God, I just never knew. I didn't know they should have sent a poet. Contact. This stuff, unbelievable. It has no texture. When I tell you that every, I've tried a thousand of these. Women my age have a real problem with translucent powder because your liquid makeup will look great. And then you put on the translucent powder and it fills in the cracks. 
and you look cakey. This stuff, when I tell you there is nothing, I cannot even feel it. All it does is make my skin feel soft. It is, it is life. It is life. It is life in makeup. It is so beautiful. Laura Mercier translucent powder. Girls, if you're over 35, do not use one other product in your life if you don't use this. This lovely. You will not regret it. This is the purchase of the month. Is the Laura Mercier translucent powder to go over your foundation. It doesn't matter what foundation and I'm going to do a tutorial with these two new things that I'm loving soon. Okay, done with done with makeup. Before my birthday, okay, my girlfriend who's the Native American, she made me a dream catcher. She makes these. She actually makes them and then she can put them together in like patterns that are fabulous, but she creates each pattern of it. She puts stones in it. Stones. I mean, she made this for me. It probably took quite a bit, but she made me this and I'm um, like loving it. She's my oldest and dearest friend and I thank her again. And if you look at my thank you for my birthday, you'll see a lot of this stuff on there. Um, Peace de Resistance was I collect Mackenzie Child and I'm not wealthy and it's very expensive so I collect little pieces here and there. but this stuff is just beautiful you see it okay so I have so I have kitchen stuff from her and I have a couple little things other than kitchen stuff but basically kitchen stuff and my girls and Tim and my friends decided to put together everybody work decided to put together their money and get me a new bathroom. And when I say a new bathroom, I'm talking everything. But I'm only going to show you a couple pieces here because it's just too much to pull out, okay? Because there's so much of it. But I will tell you which pieces I did get. This is the Courtney Check Towel Rack. Look at that. Look at that. This is all, now this is metal, and then layered over the metal is, um, this is all porcelain work, or it's um, clay work, like the stuff that I have, it, it's like laid, layered on, and then glazed, and hand painted, and it has like almost like a turquoisey green, and then the red, and then this. And this is what they decided to get me to re now I'm redoing my whole bathroom by the way oh let me show you the box because if all they gave me was the damn box and I got three three boxes but this is the box it comes in like unbelievable the boxes you get like unbelievable it's the cutest, and the, the pattern with the checks is called Courtney Check. But they got me the flower market pattern for my bathroom. And here, my friends, is the most beautiful shower curtain you're ever going to want to see. So the top is Courtney Check, and then that is the flower market. And then the bottom... It's like the stripes. Do you see this? Like, it is so heavy. It's made of, uh, like, I don't know what it's made of. Like, I, I guess it's water resistant. But this is so beautiful to me. Like, this is me. I like to live like we all live in Alice in, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Like, I even like the paper. <laughs> like, look at the paper. Look at it. It's so beautiful. You can best you ever. Ever. I want my whole house like this. Of course, couldn't afford it, but I'd like that. So there, that was the shower curtain. Here is your little dish for um, if you have cotton balls or whatnot. See the top? Look at that. Is that amazing? They got me 
the soap dish, the toothbrush holder, the puffs holder, the trash can. They got me the towel rack. They got me the rug. They got me the shower curtain. When I tell you this, it, first of all, ridiculously generous. I mean ridiculously generous. And um, nothing I can do to um, ever tell them how grateful I am. To the point where once I got it, I started looking. I decided to redo my whole bathroom. So I started looking for pedestal sinks. And I'm going to insert a picture of the pedestal sink right here. Right here. Now you tell me, that pedestal sink is going to look so amazing with this stuff. So, my son is actually moving into a new home, and I don't know if he needs any help or not. So, I'm kind of on hold until then. But the day they either get it finished or go to settlement, whatever. The day they go to settlement is the day I buy my sink. And that sink is so ridiculous. It is going to go with this. I'm good. I'll show you before and after pictures when I'm done. And um, can't imagine. Can't imagine. It's going to be so amazing. Okay, so lastly, I bought myself a little gift for my birthday. I bought myself a ring. Can you see it? And I really love this ring. It goes with my tarot card ring that my daughter-in-law, well, almost daughter-in-law, found on the boardwalk in Rehoboth and came and gave it to me. It was, it's like, I love it. It was like made for me. It's like all bent up and stuff, but I'm afraid to make it flat because I'm afraid it'll break and I'll cry forever because it's like my favorite ring. So I got my ring to go with it, which I'm loving. And also, I got this necklace, and this is an Elks necklace. Do you see it? And I love it. It was very inexpensive, but um, it's not really super well made. Uh, I'm going to break this, and it's going to make me cry, but I'm going to break it. I can tell. I wish I could find a version of it that isn't so soft, like the metal on it's so soft, I know I'm going to break it, but it wasn't super expensive. Um, Magic Words, a dictionary by Craig Conley. This I've been using this month. Uh, I've been reading it at night. I love it. It's wonderful. It, um, it just kind of gives you the history of where some magic words came from, things like that. There's also little magic words I didn't know about that, yeah, I'm going to start using in spells. So there you go. And I got that. And the last thing, this is actually, I got this for my birthday last year. And it is a dream journal. And my girlfriend and I, the my Navajo girlfriend, it kind of goes with the dream catcher. We are starting dream journals to be able to write down our dreams and then go through them and see what they like mean and stuff. So, yeah, so that's also something new I started because I need another project because I don't have enough of them during the day. So I need to add them while I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's what I need, right? Anyway, I don't care. I'm ADHD and busy. Uh, okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is my sadness that The Walking Dead is over for the until, I think, October. But I am going to watch the spinoff of The Walking Dead on in the summer. And I think it's Fear the Walking Dead. So I can't wait for that. Walking Dead is by far my favorite show. I love it. And it was the final one was fabulous for the season. And I absolutely loved it. Love that. Um, also, I'm going to miss Downton Abbey until next year. So I have some shows that ended. But some that are starting like Sunday, Game of Thrones is back. Yes! If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Uh, remember, if you know it, 
want it, feel it, believe it, you can have it. So go manifest something great in your life, okay? Manifest something wonderful. Go tell Legba your story. You don't need a candle. Just think of him. He's this old man around the fire, and he listens to your story. And then give him something. Buy him some rum. Blow some cigar smoke on the ground for him. Anything. Cornmeal. There's all kinds of things. Give him some stuff. Anything you love. Coffee. He loves coffee. Um, so give him something for his time for listening to you. And manifest something great in your life. Because I did. Because a bunch of you watch me that I did not know would watch me. And I believe Papa Like to help me. My spell work. And I love you. Keep your prosperity spells going. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.